my Bill Belichick copywriting rule. MichaelMcLean.coach. If you landed here from another planet, you can join my daily video email list where I send you simple walking and talking, taking you on a mini adventure every day, email, video email in your email box every morning at 6 a.m. by going to michaelmcclain.coach, michaelmcclain.coach. Want to talk about the GOAT, the greatest to ever do it as a head coach in professional football. Nobody even close. Six Super Bowls, draft it. Uh, Tom Brady, that's part of winning. You know, Belichick and Brady, well, he had Tom Brady. Well, he drafted Tom Brady. He developed Tom Brady. The greatest to ever do it. Uh, you know, res resigning, stepping away, agreeing to part ways, whatever you want to call it. Bill Belichick, the greatest to ever do it. I have learned so much by studying Coach Bill at Belichick. I've read every one of the books that have been uh, done on Coach. Um, everything from War Room to The Patriot Way. I've studied all the videos. Uh, I've read all the books. I've, it's, you know, uh, uh, football life, all of that stuff. And he's certainly one of the most fascinating champions that I've ever had the pleasure of, uh, of studying seriously. But here's the thing. Bill Belichick has taught me one of my most valuable marketing, advertising, and copywriting rules. Yeah, Coach, Coach Belichick has taught me a copywriting and advertising rule that transform my career as a coach, as an entrepreneur, as a founder, as a CEO, and most importantly, as a marketer. Years ago, uh, I was uh, studying the great marketers. I was studying the Gary Halberts, the Dan Kennedys, uh, you name it, and I was studying them. The great copywriters, Gene Schwartz, uh, David Ogilvy, uh, you name it. Uh, and I would be, uh, I was studying all their books, all their newsletters. But here's the thing. I did exactly what um, the guys did from Belichick's coaching tree. So you had guys like Matt Patricia, and you had guys like Josh McDaniels who were loyal, loyal servants under Belichick for years, coordinators, assistant coaches. And it was no surprise that other teams wanted a piece of the Patriots way. When you're winning six consecutive Super Bowls, um, other teams that aren't successful are going to want to hire a piece of the Patriots way, the Belichick way. And that's the reason that coordinators and assistant coaches like Patricia and even McDaniels got two shots that they were hired away and offered all kinds of money at the same time. But here's the thing with those guys. Those guys were actors. Those guys, when they became head coaches, they failed because they were frauds. They were absolute outright frauds and actors. They weren't coaching, you know, they, they weren't in the Josh McDaniels business. They weren't in the Matt Patricia business. They were still in the Bill Belichick business. And there's something about in uh, test, uh, when you're inauthentic, uh, there's something about not being yourself that people see through it a mile away. So I'll give you an example. 
I was guilty of this years and years and years ago when I would be studying a specific marketing mentor. And a perfect example is the great Dan Kennedy. I immersed myself in the teachings of Dan Kennedy. I read, you know, 30 years of his newsletters, his teachings. Uh, I was in his mastermind. Uh, I went to his seminars, his super conferences. And then I noticed in my writings, my own newsletters, uh, my own um, copywriting, I was trying to be Dan Kennedy. I was trying to be Dan Kennedy. I was using his uh, no BS slogan. I was using his approach, some of his language. And finally, finally, I stopped myself and said, you know, why, why am I trying to be somebody other than Michael McLean? You know, one of the biggest copywriting and marketing secrets you ever hear and understand is you're in the, I'm in the Michael McLean business. You, you know, you're in the, you're in the you business. When you're authentic, when you're Bill Belichick and you're actually Bill Belichick, it's, it protects you as a copywriter and a marketer. First of all, you're authentic. In today's unauthentic world, fake news, fake politics, uh, fake, you know, anti-social media, fake this, fake that. If you really want to stick out like a sore thumb and motivate and inspire and connect with good people, the way to do it is to do you, to do you. That's my massive piece of advice for you as a copywriter, as a marketer, and as a uh, advertiser. Do you. People are starving to connect with a business. They don't want to connect with faceless corporations unless they're forced to. They want to deal with a real, live human being. They want to deal and give their money to somebody they know, they like, and they trust. Well, the only way they're ever going to know, like, and trust you is if you're authentic. If you're an open book, you share some of your personal life, you share some of your wins, you share some of your losses, you share some of your championships, you share some of your defeats. This is the kind of stuff that connects you with your audience, with your customers, with your buyers, with your list. If you're just going to dole out information, people are going to turn the page. They're not, that stuff bores people to, to, to tears. What business are we really in? We're in the infotainment business. Information plus entertainment. Are you kidding me? People are spending eight hours plus on their phone per day now. And what are they consuming? They're not consuming education. Most people are consuming entertainment. Everything from boob tube to twits and twitters and flake book and um, TikTok videos and uh, dancing cats and NFL and gambling and sports, ESPN, uh, pornography is massive. Um, gaming, that's, that's the clutter that you have to cut through with your marketing, with your copywriting. Well, you better get busy getting in the infotainment business and you better get busy sharing you. Years ago, I was actually talking to Bill Glazier about this and he said, I said, Bill, I said, uh, I just want to be rich. I don't want to be famous. I just want to be rich. He said, well, Michael, in your case, I believe that making yourself famous inside your tiny little niche that you choose, at the time it was insurance agents, is necessary for you to become rich. Now, I did not appreciate or like this advice. I thought I was going to make all my money in the, in the dark. Nobody would know me if I went to a seminar or a conference and I, I wouldn't have to share any of my personal life. I would just make my money in the dark. And Bill said to me, he said, Michael, if you're going to be a copywriter and a marketer 
and an advertiser and influencer, he said, you're gonna have to get busy getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, sharing what's going on in your personal life, sharing what's going on with your family, sharing your, you know, your embarrassment, sharing your losses, sharing some of your wins. And it took me a long time to get comfortable being uncomfortable with sharing my personal life. But I want it to be wealthy. I want it freedom. I want it personal sovereignty. So as a grown up, as an adult, I decided that I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to become financially free, get myself in a safe harbor position, build my company, and the rest is history. So I gradually started doing me. I gradually started applying the Bill Belichick rule of being 100% authentic. My ideas, my thinking, my attitude, my temperament, and just being 100% congruent with Michael McLean. It resonated with a ton of people and it also repelled a ton of people. I didn't know that this was a good thing in business, selling by repelling. I speak values and principles, my own personal values and principles that I live by, that resonate with a certain type of man, a certain age group, a certain type of thinking. You know, I, I work with men like you, 45 plus, married with children, grandchildren in some cases, um, usually athletic background, a love of sports and involvement in sports, uh, alpha males, already successful, you're already successful, but always wanting more, more health, more fitness, more money, more power, more influence, more fame. You're the type of guy, there is no finish line. And that's who I work with. So when I started being 100% congruent and authentic, I also stopped having any competition. I used to have some guys that were then trying to, you know, they would swipe my materials in the insurance business and try and then use them as their own to coach other people. And the second I went all in on being Michael McLean, that was the day, like McDonald's, the franchise, I no longer had any competition. It didn't matter who would swipe or steal my stuff. Any of those low IQ guys swiping and stealing those lazy bums, swiping and stealing my newsletters and ideas and you name it, I was inventing faster than they could copy. Just like Ray Kroc said about McDonald's, we don't worry about the competition because we invent faster than they can copy. I always love that Ray Kroc quote. And that applies to your copywriting and advertising. When you sit down and write for 10 minutes every day and you write about something that happened in your life, when you write a story about something that happened at the coffee shop or the gym or at church on Sunday or with one of your kids or grandkids or something that happened in your business or with one of your employees or something that happened in the world, sports or politics, whatever it is, whatever it is, that's something that's authentically you and it's something that cannot ever, ever be swiped or copied by one of these low IQ copycats. The other thing is a lot of um, copywriters and marketers like you uh, are, are scared and concerned about artificial stupidity. The great Matt Fury calls AI, artificial intelligence, he calls it more accurately, artificial stupidity. And Matt is a very clever and intelligent and funny guy. And I love that saying, artificial stupidity. So if you do you in all your writings, your emails, your flyers, your posts, your blogs, your videos, 
uh, anything that you do, if you do you, authentic you, if you don't map Patricia in, you don't, you know, Josh McDaniels it where people see through that you're just a fake of somebody else, there's zero competition. People will resonate and they'll see that, hey, this guy is honest, this guy is authentic, this guy has a, has a, is an open book, he shares his wins, he shares his losses, and they'll connect with you. When McDaniels, <laughs> McDaniels went to Denver the first time, he tried to be Bill, he dressed like Bill, he talked like Bill. There's only one Bill Belichick. The players saw through it after some early success and the whole thing just blew up in his face. It was just a, a house of cards. So I thought McDaniels would be smart enough to return to, to uh, Patriot land. And you know, he was the offensive coordinator again for a number of years. So he gets a second shot in Las Vegas. I mean, what a franchise, brand new stadium, the whole deal, good money. And he blows it again. He blows it again by being a fraud again. So he takes, he tries to be Bill again. Not as obvious, but still, you talk to players in the movie meeting rooms. Fake tough guy. Fake tough guy. If you're a tough guy, that's great. But if you're not a tough guy, faking it is one of the worst things that you can ever do. You can't be Bill Belichick. No more than Bill Belichick could be Bill Parcells. No more than Bill Parcells could be Vince Lombardi. No more than Vince Lombardi could be Jimmy Johnson. We all have to, as copywriters and marketers and entrepreneurs, learn from the greats. Learn from Gary Halbert. Learn from uh, Gene Schwartz. Learn from Dan Kennedy. Learn from Bill Glazier. Learn from all the greats in whatever niche you're studying and take the bits and pieces because they learn that from somebody else as well. There's nothing new under the sun. They're not their ideas, but then you personalize those things and you make them your own and you, and you make them authentic and you put together your own winning system. You don't, you don't take, you know, Bill Belichick's system with you. You build your own system, a system that people can relate to and they understand as you. The great good Lord above, okay, create it one of you, one of you. There's one of you as a husband, as a father, as a entrepreneur, even as a copywriter, markers, one of you. So when you do anybody else besides you, when you try to be somebody else other than you, you're just, you're just really, you know, um, you're, 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 you're basically, you're killing that authentic self. You're killing that authentic self that was put on this earth to make a difference, to serve other people. God created you for a reason, even in business and marketing. And he gave you a voice and he gave you a brain. Fucking use it. Use your brain. Think, what do you believe in? What do you value? What are your goals? What are your principles? And then do that as a copywriter. Do that as a marketer. That's my tip for today. And man, oh man, make sure you're in the you business and write about what you want. So, you know, write about what's on your mind. Speak the truth and build a legacy that's based on your goals, your values, and, uh, and your principles. That's a big one. That's the Billy Belichick uh, copywriting and marketing rule. Good morning. The uh, rule that's going to serve you, serve you well. Study the greats. Study the greats every day. But make sure that you take those gold nuggets that you learn from the greats and make them your own. Study them. Put your own. Put it together. Think about it. And make sure you're 100% authentic and do you in your copywriting and marketing. Listen, if you need help with your copywriting, with your storytelling, if you need help influencing people and, and persuading people in your videos, in your newsletters, in your emails, 
uh, in your blog posts, on your anti-social media, whatever, sales pages, websites. I'm <laughs> reluctantly starting a brand new print newsletter called Michael McLean's Badass Copy. That's all it is, is 100% copywriting. It'll teach you to be a world-class copywriter, how to become a world-class copywriter in the next 12 months. It's a physical paper and ink uh, newsletter that I write once a month starting in February, and it will arrive at your home or at your office in your righteous mailbox. It's going to be between eight and 12 pages. Knowing me, that means 20 pages, but I'll try to keep it down. And it's gonna be all the copywriting projects that I have been working on that last 30 days. The websites I'm designing, the landing pages, the ads I'm using on and offline, the copy I've been writing and why I'm writing it, my strategies, my tactics, my shortcuts, my templates, my cheat sheets. Every month it's gonna be in badass copy. If uh, it's expensive, it's not for everybody. It's not for somebody who's looking for, you know, it's not for bargain hunters or, or cheapskates. It's for serious, serious students who want to learn the skill of copywriting. The ability to sit down and write a swimming pool, write a kitchen renovation, write a second home in Florida, write a vacation to Europe, uh, write, you know, a check to cover your children's college. If you want that ability to turn words instantly into money, then badass copy will show you how to do that. It's uh, $2.97 a month. And um, if you subscribe in the next week, let's do this over seven days. I'm gonna give you seven days. If you subscribe in the next seven days, it's going to be $2.47 a month. So I'll knock off a few bucks. So what's $2.47 a month? Is that one client with better copy? Is that two clients a month? Is that three clients a month? You can see where you're gonna get the return on investment because each and every month, you're gonna get a little bit better at copywriting, a little better at turning words into money. And you're gonna get all my experience of studying all the greats. Are you, you're not gonna take, you know, 200, 2,000 hours, some cases, and study all the greats. Well, I filtered this stuff down into all of those, in my case, 10,000 hours of studying the greatest old school copywriters in the world. Do you know that most copywriters in 2024, they're just shit. If you look online, any anti-social media, 95% of the copy is garbage. It's trash. You see these newbies, these gurus and wet behind the ears, copywriters and marketers, they don't know jack shit about direct response and they've never studied the old school copywriters like the Kennedys and the Halberts and the Carltons, none of it. And the reason they try to get away with it because it's free. It's basically free for them to send an email. It's free for them to post on Flakebook or it's free for them to shoot a YouTube video. So that's one of the reasons they get away with it. The old school guys, they used to have to pay for an envelope, for a stamp, printing of the letter and their time. So those guys, they couldn't play copywriting. They couldn't play business. They had skin in the game. And I know exactly what that's like in the insurance business. Okay, I paid to mail 140,000 paper flyers a month. That was tens of thousands of dollars. So I quickly became a serious student of copywriting. Also as a bonus for joining, the link is below, badasscopy.coach badasscopy.coach, the link is below. 
you can subscribe and uh, February's letter will be in your mailbox. I'm gonna give a, uh, um, a special bonus if you uh, sign up today. And it is, uh, you know, my champion's mastermind last year uh, with the best of the best, you know, Bill Gaw, Stephen Avanco, David Litton, Paul Nolte, Leanne, Mark Andre, and myself. Um, we brought in my pal, my good pal, Doberman Dan, for one session. It was closed door, nobody, these guys paid $30,000 to be in this room. And I brought Dan, Doberman Dan, one of the greatest living copywriters. My God, Gary Halbert lived with Doberman Dan. And they, uh, <laughs> in this story, so I bring in my pal Doberman Dan to talk about copywriting and advertising and marketing for, uh, for 90 minutes. And I recorded the whole thing. And my mastermind guys, Bill and Paul and David and Steven all said that was maybe the highlight of the entire year with our mastermind. These guys paying 30K to be in that closed door session and, and be in the mastermind. I'm going to give you access to that interview with Doberman Dan as a bonus for signing up for my badass copy print newsletter. Are you kidding me? This was, he took us to school. He had Halbert stories that nobody's ever heard of. He talked about direct mail. He talked about websites, postcards, emails. He talked about stuff that nobody had ever heard of before. He talked about all his greatest lessons in uh, in copywriting himself i mean doberman dan is a different cat he's a pal of mine because we have a lot in common he works by himself he lives by himself he's one of the highest paid guys in the business and the guy writes copy that is money drenching it sells so if you subscribe today at badasscopy.coach below I'm gonna send you that private training for free. It's actually two hours. It's actually two hours. It was madness. I was just furiously taking notes and applying it to my own business and my own writing. That's a nice free bonus. That is a massive, massive bonus. Actually, I just, <laughs> I just thought about it. When Mark Andre triggered me last night, he said, I said, what can we use as a bonus for our newsletter? He said, why not use the best thing that we have? He goes, that Dober, D Doberman Dan performance six months ago. So there you go, there you go. So uh, to subscribe, to join the brotherhood or sisterhood, go to badasscopy.coach, not com, dot coach. Sign up, it's 247 a month with the discount. I'll immediately send you the, uh, the digital, the digital copy of that 90 minute Doberman Dan copywriting and marketing training. And uh, man, that's, that's something special right there. That's it for today. Keep that Billy Belichick copywriting and marketing um, lesson in the back of your mind. When you sit down, do you. There's only one of you. You can't be copied, you can't be swiped, you can't be ripped off. You know, write your values, write your principles, learn from the grandmasters, but do you. Be brave, be fierce, and absolutely be relentless.